Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I am on a hike right now and I actually was not planning to vlog today until I came across this. Check it out. That's right, I found cows. Cows right in the middle of the hiking trail. <laughs> so let me try to sneak past these guys. And I have to tell you, this is not anything unusual. It's actually quite common for you to go across cow pens or I need to go into cow pens um, on hikes because a lot of them go through the farmlands and people's farming areas. I'm a bit wary of these cows. Hold on. I don't want to get too close because those guys can definitely tackle me if they want to. All right, so I think I'm a good distance away. I won't bother them at the moment. So yeah, so that it's quite common to run into cows here in Switzerland. Many times you'll be passing by meadows where they're grazing, but I would say 50% of the time they are separated by an electric fence. This time around though, I knew exactly when I came here, I walked over this kind of like divider bridge area, which meant to me that, okay, now I'm going into a cow pasture because those are exactly for cows or more specifically to prevent the cows from um, getting outside of their pasture area. Other types of signs can be these electric fences that you connect with this kind of um, wire and they always have like a plastic handle for you to unlock it and then lock it back up when you've gone past. And then one of my viewers was asking on a previous video where there was this kind of turnstile um, they asked what that was for and that's again for cows so like people can get through but it's too small for cows to get past so they can't go anywhere where they're not supposed to. But these cows look happy with their life right now. There's some more on this side. Let me show you. So there is my hiking trail sign and there are some more cows just behind there. So just to show you that I haven't gotten lost, I haven't gone anywhere I'm not supposed to, but cows can sometimes cross your road. And it's just important to remember in these types of cases, just keep your wits about you. Don't go too close. Don't try to pet them. They're probably not pets of anybody. They're for grazing, they're for milk, they're for meat. So they're, they might not be super used to people. Um, even though they won't usually bother you, but if, if they're in their way, like, let me show you. There's now a cow like directly in the middle of the path there. If I were to go that way, I would make sure to figure out a way that I'm not going like directly behind them. I don't want to spook them. I want them to be always um, conscious of where I am so I'm not startling them because I don't need them to be stampeding on me or get angry with me and so on. But I just wanted to pop on and tell you about this kind of peculiar thing that you can come across here in Switzerland. I know some people are afraid of cows here. Sometimes on the news you might see news stories about like hikers being attacked by cows. But I would say in the most cases, those people have probably overstepped their boundaries. They've either gotten too close, they've tried to feed them or tried to pet them. And especially if they have young calves with them, if there's a bull nearby, just stay clear. You don't want any trouble with the cows. They are much stronger than you are. But I will maybe give you a few more views of my hike. Some final thoughts as I think about the cows that we just saw. If you ever come across cows and I don't know you're afraid of them or they're all over the hiking path and you're at all nervous, 
I would just advise you to either really go as far around them as you can and if that's not possible then turn around. Don't risk your life or the safety of the cows to try and force your way past them. Again, I've never had any issues with cows. What I like to do is I like to talk as I'm going past them so that they know exactly where I am and for sure with my like huffing and puffing and I'm sure I'm not the most graceful walker. I'm sure all the cows heard me way before I realized that they were on that path. But just to kind of give myself some comfort, I always make sure to talk and be absolutely sure that the cows know where I'm moving at all times. So just a couple tips to keep you safe on the hiking paths. All right, that about does it for my spontaneous vlog for today. Thank you for watching. Join me again next time. See you then. Bye guys. Bye.